Hello everyone. Today we are going to present the handheld digital oscilloscope from Mixig, a company known for its innovative solutions. For example, earlier we have reviewed Mixig's oscilloscope based on Android OS designed as a tablet PC. Today we are presenting a device with a more traditional appearance, and at first glance this oscilloscope has very few differences from the oscilloscopes manufactured by Unity, Handtech, or Siglent. However, it has its own distinctive feature, the touchscreen. This oscilloscope is perfectly assembled. The manufacturing quality is very high. The device has a protective rubber casing and the touchscreen, which has the perfect size of 5.7 inches, is integrated into the front panel. Here are the control buttons. The top side houses input terminals for the oscilloscope probes and the terminals for the multimeter probes. It has two strap eyes for various straps. There is a strap on the side for holding the oscilloscope with one hand. And here is the power input socket. The other side has another control unit. Here is a dial wheel. It also has USB storage and PC synchronization sockets. And a flat base. The rear panel has a really solid stand for the device and the cover for the rechargeable battery. With a fully charged battery, the oscilloscope is expected to work for at least four hours. Well, let's plug it in and turn on the oscilloscope. We are reviewing an MS210T model with a bandwidth of 100 megahertz and a sample rate of one gigahertz. Also, other models with a bandwidth from 70 megahertz to 200 megahertz are available. Moreover, there are models with insulated input channels and a serial protocol decoder. Okay, the oscilloscope has just booted. This oscilloscope may be controlled with the front panel buttons as well as with its touchscreen. The touchscreen responds either to fingers or pen-like objects. I'm using a plastic stylus from a GPS navigator. These buttons allow changing the magnification factor and time sweep, moving the oscilloscope's chart horizontally and vertically. You can do all that using the touchscreen with your own fingers. However, it is more convenient to use a stylus. Now I will change the trigger level. Also, you can move the oscilloscope's chart like this. At the same time, there is a wheel that keeps the last actions in memory. Having just moved the oscilloscope's chart horizontally, I can do that again with the wheel. If my last action was the vertical movement of the oscilloscope's chart, I can repeat the same action with that wheel. You can also change the sweep. Sliding like this, I'm magnifying the diagram. And sliding backwards, I'm scaling it down. The rest of the functions are common to most oscilloscopes of this class, like Handtech, Unity, etc. This device has an automatic measurement function. You can dial in the parameters using buttons or the touchscreen. For example, I would like to measure the period, peak value, and average value. All of these parameters are shown on the LCD. What's next? Here's the diagram saving and recall menu. Cursor measurement, display settings, trigger settings. Also, the device has a serial bus trigger function. The device has a built-in multimeter. The ranging is automatic. You can measure AC as well as DC voltage and current values, and resistance. It has a circuit check buzzer, diode test function, and a capacity test. There is also a relative measurement function. The LCD shows maximum, average, and minimum values for the measurement period in a user-friendly form. The device has a simple onboard data recorder. I would like to separately mention two more functions. In the utility menu, you find a real engineering calculator, which I haven't ever seen in any oscilloscope before. It's here 
and someone may find it useful. It's a quite unusual, but very convenient function. For example, I'm calculating the cosine of 60 degrees, and I get 0.5. Correct. Also, there is a special tool for working with RLC circuits. Therefore, I can calculate the induced resistance of a coil at a certain frequency. For example, we have the frequency of 1 kHz. The coil's inductance is 1 millihenry. Therefore, the induced resistance will be 6.2 ohms. Also, I can calculate a capacitive resistance, an equivalent resistance of two parallel resistors, and even calculate the resistance frequencies of RLC circuits. Mixig released the comfortable, high-quality, reliable, and multifunctional oscilloscope with a touchscreen that is sure to surprise professionals. Watch more videos from our YouTube channel. Have a nice day. Goodbye.